Welcome to Tech Brazil Zamir. In this video, we are going to look into this question. Um, you are seeing high bills uh, or high price uh, for your Azure Data Factory. You are asked to find out uh, which pipeline is billed the most uh, or you are paying the highest uh, billing uh, for one of the pipeline. Uh, how you will find out? Um, so this is one of the tedious questions. Honestly, uh, there is no straightforward uh, answer to it and uh, Microsoft also does not provide a whole lot of uh, uh, information on that. Uh, if you go right here, and uh, but I'm gonna go through some steps that you can use to get at least some idea like which one is playing the role here. So if you go to the cost management and billing here for Microsoft, uh, and then go to the cost management tab and then we can go to the cost analysis and here once you are in this page you are going to see some of the metrics some of the information and let's go further and say cost by resource because we want to look in the azure data factory and then pipeline cost now once you're here you can see right there this is the cost by resource and as you see right here this is sql Servers. this is our ADF and uh, you know this is our uh, data factories as well you see that there is a five dollar fifty seventy seven cents a charge for this uh, data factory Microsoft dot uh, data factory backslash factories uh, that's our resource type I'm gonna just uh, click right there see that detail so you can uh, see right there uh, there was a data flow charges uh, you know so you can see uh, okay and there was vnet uh, many vnet uh, ir was created uh, that's what the charge for for that one then you have uh, this uh, different uh, you know activity charges uh, which are very small charges uh. From here, I can't really drill further into it. Uh, let's say I want to see which pipeline was uh, using the data flow, so I don't have that. Uh, this is where uh, this uh, get very actually um, annoying, uh, and uh, you have to struggle a lot to find out which uh, pipeline uh, is playing the role or charge the most. Uh, now, how you do that or how you will find out? Uh, if I will be you, what I will do? I will go to monitor, and then uh, in the monitor tab, uh, I will see the pipeline runs. Uh, now once once I see the pipeline runs, I will uh, look at this uh, duration. This is not going to be 100% uh, as it is uh, like, oh, this uh, duration is high, so it will be charged more. Maybe you are using uh, uh, some activities which are very cost less, and, but uh, the activity took forever. So think about a scenario. So you have uh, this uh, data factory pipeline, you called a store procedure that is running for two hours. Uh, you might be billed only for, you know, for as the external activity and you charge maybe only in uh, five cent total, you know, for two hours uh, because it's external activity to run. Uh, now that could be misleading too but most of the time let's say you this pipeline you click right there and then you see that oh okay i'm using a copy activity here or i'm using data flow activity here and that's a, now you can also check the duration so if you are running data flow or copy activity so the charges are let's say in data flow point uh, seven uh, two seven four uh, dollars uh, per week or per hour that's what it is so maybe then you can come and do some math and say like okay my data flow um, has been running from last 30 minute or has run for 30 minutes so in this, this uh, pipeline and uh, there was total uh, 272 v cores were used now in that case uh, if we go back here and say we want to do some calculation so now if uh, your data flow has run for uh, let's say one hour okay one hour multiply uh, point two seven four that's a per v core charges and uh, multiply 72 v cores uh, if uh, you have uh, uh, 2572 okay or 256 or you know some large amount of uh, v cores you have used in the integration runtime for the data flow if you will uh, see that it's going to be almost uh, 74 dollars for one hour and the uh, same way if uh, you have uh, let's say user copy activity and now copy activity is 0.25 cents per hour per diu and you have used uh, 256 diu's for one hour so maybe you, your pipeline has been running from last one hour and using max a di user so 256 uh, now if you run that uh, you will see like 64 dollars charge for you for one uh, copy activity that ran for one hour with the 256 di user 
so you will uh, see some of the information here so once you know like copy activity data flow activity has been running for a long time and uh, then uh, you are going to go further in uh, and uh, look into your integration run times uh, and in the in integration run times uh, uh, you're going to go ahead and check that uh, like okay go to monitor here let me take you here um, actually let me uh, let's create a new integration runtime so I can show you okay so here in the integration runtime you are gonna see uh, what exactly you have used so if uh, data flow was run in your pipeline and you have used uh, the V course here so if you have used a 256 plus 16 uh, that's uh, 272 that's exactly I did the calculation so that's a large amount of uh, V uh, cores that you have used uh, uh, in your data flow and on top of that if you have used memory optimizer that's gonna add up to the cost so now again I'm saying that uh, if uh, uh, you're gonna look into your each of the pipeline so you will go to the monitor again and here you're gonna see like oh which your pipeline I, I have run look at some durations uh, that will be good start to start taking a look but again you will be ignoring some of the long duration if those are external activities such as uh, running a stored procedure or running a data break notebook uh, those external activities are really not charge high but actual uh, charge which are uh, you know I have noticed always uh, data flow plays a big role uh, copy activity with a lot of I use um, that plays a big role in the cost uh, so uh, you know you have a manager vnets use uh, you know your IRs uh, so that plays a role you know so these are all uh, gonna be uh, actually this is gonna be manual process uh, you know where you have to dig into each pipeline and uh, find out uh, uh, which is the cost most uh, now I have a uh, another video where I went through the billing how to exactly calculate what uh, uh, number of activities you are using how many activities you are using and uh, then how much bill is uh, your pass uh, so I have defined or provide a lot of details so if you watch that video I will put the link here and that will help you to even come up with some Excel sheet uh, where you can put uh, like your duration your uh, um, you know cost and the, all that and then uh, you can even uh, uh, calculate the cost even before running your pipeline so if your pipeline run for 20 minutes uh, you would know that how much cost uh, will be charged to you or estimated at least 90 percent accuracy so i uh, watch that video it will help you to understand the, the billing and price uh, again there is no uh, one click uh, uh, view of seeing uh, how much cost uh, or price uh, for each of the run of the pipeline uh, Microsoft does charge uh, so you have to calculate uh, by yourself uh, you can always go back to Microsoft as well and tell them hey I've been charged very high for my pipelines or data factory pipelines and they will find out which pipeline uh, has been charged the most uh, and they will find all those meters like you has used you have used data flow or copy activity what DI use you have used or if you have used the data flow how many V cores you used uh, and uh, all those information uh, they have uh, uh, on the back end uh, uh, use the Custo queries and find out some information for you and uh, give it to you so that will help as well um, thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video